Good morning, people. Good morning, guys. I'm at my school an hour early today. Uh, me and my partner, Jeffrey, who also happens to be the guy who cuts my hair, who also happens to be a supermodel. We're meeting an hour early to practice our lines some more. I should be practicing these as much as I can, and then eventually, like probably next week, me and him are gonna read it up on stage again and using the notes my teacher gave me, which was to do the opposite of every instinct I have, which is so difficult. I'm trying to do that right now, but I will see you guys probably after acting class. All right, on break from my class. Well, not actually on break, I'm outside. My teacher just gave us another part of the script, uh, another part, a different scene that we've never read like with each other before, and we're gonna do what's called a cold read where you read it and you have little time to prepare. So I'm gonna get to reading. Ugh. Hey guys, on break from my class right now, in my car for a quick second. Um, this is an actual break now, bathroom break time, but uh, I did my reading. It was uh, it was a cold reading, so it was the first time I've ever read that out loud. And it was like, we pretended like it was an audition. And uh, my teacher said it was a good audition and she would call me back. So that's always good. Even though I felt like I could have done more, like as an actor, you're always gonna feel like you can do more. But she, if, yeah, so usually whatever she says goes. And she just had this awesome talk about, you know, just like not taking risks is boring, you know? Not to me, she was talking to the whole class about this whole thing. And uh, she was like, if you're gonna live, the only way to live is balls to the wall. So I wanna tell you guys that before I go back to class now. Bye, balls to the wall. <laughs> Bye, Nocta. Um, it's dark already, I just got out of class, gonna drive home right now. All right, I know some of you people hate it when I do this, but I am really in traffic. And yes, this is an automatic car, so I don't have to constantly be shifting in and out gears. But this is the time when I get to talk to you after class. And I was just thinking about how awesome my acting class was. Like, I had so much fun. Like, I, the reason why I'm in acting classes is not only because one, I need training, and but two, is to remind myself of why you're an actor. You're in acting class to work on things, to work on yourself especially. You learn things about yourself, like surprisingly um, so much about yourself in acting class. And then you learn about acting on top of that. So you're just getting better at life and acting. It's crazy, I know. But I wanted to talk to you guys in the car before I forgot everything by the time I got home. So I wanted to tell you guys about my scene. Um, so what we did was I explained it was a cold reading that we had to read our first time ever. I'm gonna let this guy get in. Get in, get in, you can, I gave you permission. Okay, so it was the first time, like she gave us this random scene and she's like, okay, if you guys know this character well enough, you should be able to do this scene, no problem, right? This cold reading is like an audition. So we, me and my partner, you saw me and Jeffrey, we were practicing this morning already but she gave us a completely different scene that didn't correlate to that scene, but it was just with the same characters. And so me and Jeffrey went up, did it on stage. I, uh, I've had all these different emotions and I got angry, I was mad at my brother and I was guilty about, you know, holding on to this boat because in the story, I am so upset and guilty and sad because I feel like I'm the one, the reason why my brother died. Because I can't think of a better reason, you know? I'm a kid, I'm, I'm like 16. And I, my brother yelled at me and told me to hang on to this boat. Just All I had to do was hang on. And so I kept holding on and, and he let go. And so I blame myself for him letting go. And so this whole, t that, that, that was like a little bit of what I was telling him, um, my psychiatrist in this scene. And so we, we finished the scene, my teacher said I did a great job, she said, she, she asked me like how I felt, what, what do you think, did I move the audience, and I said yes, I think I, I brought them somewhere, and she also agreed, and she thought it was a great reading, and um, what this exercise does is just to see how we do under pressure as actors. So sometimes in an audition you'll be studying, like you know how you guys watch me study sides for like two days or sometimes I have it for like a day in advance and I come in and I think I'm a little ready or whatever. Sometimes you have those sides and right when you get there they're like, oh, here's actually your, your other ones and they give you these sides that you have to spend only like 10 minutes with. And so that's what it really prepares us for is like we when we for those times where we come into our auditions there's, there's only 10 minutes and you have to like make choices. And I don't know if you guys are actors or not actors but a lot of acting, a lot of people say acting is reacting, but a lot of acting also is choices. Like, some people choose to have an accent. Some people choose to walk in and start crying right away. Some people choose to walk in and fall or choose to have certain man mannerisms. Acting is all choices, and um, so it just helps us like be quicker on our feet. 
So we saw a lot of those different scenes, a lot of people doing those cold readings today. And you know, my acting class is just a great time for me to just sit in there and just think about acting for the five hours that I'm in there, six hours. Um, but I'm glad I get to share that with you and I didn't forget to vlog and don't be mad at me for like I'm barely driving like you get this is not even driving it's just like my, I'm just my foot's just off the brake and because it's six o'clock right now LA traffic this is how it is I don't care about people that are looking at me in the cars I'm talking to you guys and when I'm talking to you guys I'm talking to you guys because you guys are my friends and yeah but look at there's like tons of people they were like what is this guy doing why does he have his light on is he documenting this traffic he's probably making a traffic documentary <laughs> but anyways i'll see you guys when i get home um i have no idea what we're doing today one more thing one more thing before i keep driving sorry another thing we talked about in acting class today is considerations there's whenever you're about to do something there's always a lot of considering that has to be done like expect this applies to actors but it also applies to a lot of things um, but I'll give you an example that has to do with me. So sometimes I'll get a role like an audition for something and it says like um, I'll say something as simple as like Vietnamese guy or something right and I'll get the audition So that means they already want to see me. They saw my picture. They're like we want this kid to come in But me I'll look at it and be like oh it says Vietnamese That means you know they'll probably they probably won't even cast me so in that moment I'm already considering like and like talking myself out of it um where I wanted to tell you guys about this was everyone needs money. You can never have enough money, right? Like even Donald Trump has been bankrupt like three times. But a lot of people go like, when, when I was first moving here, I was like, oh man, you know, I don't know if I saved enough money to move to LA. But if I would have kept thinking that, I would have kept pushing it back and pushing it back and never moved to LA. And I would still be back home right now, not as happy as I am right now. So what I'm saying is when you guys are thinking of doing something, just do it right away you know stop trying to consider things and just go ahead and just do it and you'll be happier for it because the faster you do something the more powerful you are and if you let things like money and what you what people will think of you and your family and what all that stuff if you let all that like get in the way of you and your dreams then you deserve it it's your fault you can't, you can't let anything get in your way so I just wanted to remind you, that's another thing we talked about in class today, which is something that comes up a lot because people, we do let ourselves get blocked by a lot of things. And that's what I'm doing with this year. I'm trying to let things not stop me anymore. And I am glad I get to share these things that I learn with you guys. Cause then as you grow up, or if you're already grown up, you can use this to remind yourself like, oh yeah, I am totally stopping myself. I totally could do this right now. Like get off my ass and just do it. And so I hope you guys just do it, man. I believe in you. Just like you guys believe in me. And just like why you guys watch me every single day. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna do it for us. For us. Oh gosh, I gotta break now. I gotta break traffic. I got home and now people are telling me I'm hearing things that I have to go to Korean barbecue. Okay, baby, you. Woo! But it's not my house, Marlon. This is so good. You guys are so good. This I don't know so what it's good. called in Korea. So good. What? Yeah, see, I knew Kimmy would know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. Ah! What's going on? Ah! Ah! Oh, I guess. I don't know. I think it's like Godzilla. All right, guys. This is the real way to eat Korean barbecue. Ready? You like this? You like this? <laughs> So look at all the food we just ate. We're full. We're gonna go home now. Or get dessert. I'm not sure yet. As you know, our Korean barbecue tradition, after we get Korean barbecue, we always get snow out of It's right here. I'm coming. I'm going in. Now, can I have a, uh, a regular also? My favorite topping at this place where they shave your um, they shave your ice cream into like this like shaved snow. Is this 
It's like strawberry shortcake on top of it. Yeah, look at it. Look at what it looks like. I am home now and I had a fantastic night meeting some more North Carolinians. I'm gonna meet every single North Carolinian soon here. Um, but I, I'm so glad actually that Roy didn't come back yet or else I wouldn't have been able to eat the cream barbecue. <laughs> but Roy's coming back soon and whenever that happens we're gonna be so strict with our diet. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna probably be like I wonder how that's gonna affect me on my vlogs. That's, that's gonna be an interesting experiment. Like, it's gonna see, like, I wonder if I'm gonna be different at all. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Peace, good night, guys.